Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm changing out the brake pads on the rear of my BMW Z4. Sorry, it was just raining, so that's just surface rust right here. Um, but word to the wise, if you ever decide that you need to change your rotors, change your brake pads along with it. Um, you can change the brake pads without changing the rotor, but don't change the rotor without changing the brake pads. Why uh, is because, as you can see right here, the old brake pad wasn't seating properly onto the new rotor. And thus, as you can see, only this patch right here was getting contacted. Whereas it's supposed to be, as you can see right there, a little bit more, maybe like a quarter to a half of an inch more of contact, which actually makes a pretty big deal. Um, and so if you're going to change the rotor, change the brake pads along with it. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that, but that's what I did. So now I'm going to change out the brake pads and you'll see later that the contact patch of the new pads, um, just like this one's supposed to be, is going to be larger and thus you're going to have more braking power. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so as you can see already, I just took a little bit of a drive, but it's starting to wear away here on the outside. Um, and so after the break-in process for seating the pads, um, it should be down to, I believe, here. Um, so this should all eventually fade back to this color right here, um, which means that there's more contact patch for the brake pads. Um, so if you guys have any questions about how to change your brake pads on this car, um, definitely leave in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching as always. And if you can, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you.